Welcome back to JSA TV Live, of course, the live streaming news source here at Data Cloud USA. We are enjoying day two in Austin of Data Cloud. Lots going on, and we have a lot to get to. But right now, we are talking with Jim Bowie. He is the president and CEO of Involta. Thank you so much for joining us here at Data Cloud and JSA TV Live. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So let's get down to, to business. You guys have a lot going on at Involta lately, um, but first for those who might not be familiar, can you just give us a quick history? And of course, yeah. we were bonding just before this because you're an Iowa-based company, right. and I grew up in Iowa. Cedar Rapids, Iowa, let's go. So we're actually celebrating our 15th birthday in business. Uh, born and uh, bred company out of the Midwest. We are a national hybrid IT provider, so we've grown out of our humble Midwest beginnings to be a national hybrid IT provider. We focus on tier two and three markets and really have a specialty in uh, build owning and operating data centers, cloud platforms, cybersecurity, and other services. And, and we're so glad to have you focusing on those markets. There's definitely a lot of need there. Um, and you recently had a big project in Cleveland. Can you yeah. tell us about that? Yeah, we're so excited. You know, we really view uh, Cleveland as a hub for us and really I, we think about it as Northeast Ohio so we actually have uh, four data centers in Ohio we have Canton Independence which is a suburb of Cleveland uh, Akron and Youngstown and we're able to use the Ohio market as really a hub for data if you think about the secular trends and just the expansion of data and moving data across the country from east to west. Northeast Ohio is a great hub. Uh, that expansion that we put in place, uh, we're up to 10 megawatts of capacity overall in Northeast Ohio and that'll continue to grow. I think if you look at the challenges of tier one markets with utilities and everything that's going on, Cleveland's just, and Northeast Ohio is just a great place for people to make a choice to to uh, store their data securely, reliably. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Absolutely, and this comes on the heels of some transition, um, and we should say congratulations to you, by the way, that was part of that transition yeah. um, with your executive leadership team. Um, can you just tell us about that and, and what you've been doing as you've stepped into the role of president and CEO? Yeah, you bet. This, uh, I'm so excited. I've been with Involta now for six years, and from day one I said, uh, you know, I always wanted to run the company, so right away, uh, our founder, Bruce Lehrman, worked with me on that succession plan. So we knew uh, ultimately this would be my company to hand the baton off to, but Bruce Lehrman and we still have to uh, move to the board. So he's vice chair of our board, still talk to him every day, very instrumental. And I feel very fortunate. You think about uh, the board that we have with the Carlisle investment, which came in January. We have operators on our board. I, I think a lot of uh, infrastructure fund and private equity backed companies have a lot of financial expertise, which we certainly have a depth of financial expertise with the Carlisle Group. But if you look at the operational expertise on our board, including Bruce and Gary Wojasek, uh, it's a pretty, and Steve Gray, guys who have built and run very successful businesses in the industry, you know, the sky's the limit. So very, couldn't, couldn't pick better people to work with, couldn't be happier with uh, where we're headed. That's amazing. Uh, it's even it's even better if you love what you do and who you're doing it yeah, with. Yeah. yeah. So you've been uh, around for 15 years. What's what's the secret in the sauce, and how do you continue to be prosperous and, and grow after that long? Because for our for our industry in the data center, yeah. you know, we're still a young company. So having somebody or a young industry, so having a 15 year veteran in the room, um, that's something to to give a shout out to. Well, I appreciate that. I I think um, you know we when we were celebrating our 15th birthday as a company, we, we talked about unicorn companies and how many companies fail, not just in our industry, but the failure rate's high. So to achieve what we have, but we also think of it as just a beginning. We have a net promoter score program with our clients, and if you're familiar with that program, it's a scale of negative 100 to positive 100, and we're a 79. Like, that shows you how much our clients really love to work with us. We solve a ton of very challenging IT problems. We attach technology solutions to their business problems. We help them to grow their businesses. I think if you do that, you know, if you really focus on your customer experience and your employee experience, you're going to be around for, uh, you know, we'll be around for another 15 years. I, you know, I'm hopeful, uh, not just my kids, but my grandkids. 
uh, would consider working for Enmolta, and that's the type of business. We, we built the business uh, to run for uh, in perpetuity, but it, it's clients, clients and employees. That's what really drives the, the business. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. Absolutely. So uh, one last question and then yeah. we'll let you go because I know that you're preparing to go and do a panel uh, yeah. upcoming here at 11 o'clock on industry disruption and the metaverse. Can you give yeah. us a little preview of what you're talking about? Sure. I'd love to. I, I think, you know, it's interesting, like people um, look at secular trends in the industry and the explosion of data. Well, imagine, you know, you create a more immersive web and whether it's a complete virtual reality, which we've seen a lot of content and gaming, or augmented reality, which if you remember the Super Bowl and you know integrating real life with the virtual world, yeah. the amount of data that's necessary to create in, in real time, uh, have that data, it's like nothing you've ever seen. The amount of data in the world, you know, the, the number of zettabytes um, that we're going to have in the world that need storage, transportation, uh, it's going to be incredible for the industry. I'm excited for the panel to talk about it and get some uh, ideas from other people, but I think it drives the industry, the, the size of the pie, if you will, for the industry is going to be unbelievable the next 10 years, in large part to the metaverse. And there are real business use cases, which we'll, we'll talk about some of those. All right. Well, we look forward to listening into it as much as we can. So um, real quickly, where can we go to learn more about Involta and what you guys have coming down the pike? Yeah, the best place is uh, our website, www.involta.com. All right. Thank you so much for being here with us at JSA TV and at Data Cloud. Best of luck on the panel, although I know you're going to kill it, so you don't even need my well wishes. And thank you so much for joining us here on JSA TV Live. As always, happy networking.